When a crocodile bites its victim, it deposits bacteria in the wound that cause long-term muscle damage. When something is grabbed by a crocodile, it's not a sharp cut. There's a lot of bruising and pressure. You're talking 3,000 pounds per square inch. So if it grabs onto the leg of a horse, like a, it's a good grab, it grabs onto it, it'll drag the animal in and under the water and hold it down to drown it. There are two species of crocodile that inhabit Australia, the saltwater and the freshwater. Freshwater crocodiles have a very long, thin, narrow snout, very short, sharp teeth. So the, the food items they're targeting are small food items, a lot of fish. There's no record of any unprovoked attack by a freshwater croc on either horse or human. In fact, in the wild, it's, it's said you can swim with freshwater crocodiles, so they're not targeting large food items at all. A large mammal just isn't the type of prey that freshwater crocodiles target. The saltwater crocodile is an altogether different beast. The most distinctive thing about a saltwater croc is that big, gnarly head with those big, actually blunt, but long, penetrating teeth. Saltwater crocodiles will live in freshwater, saltwater, brackish water, mineral water. They don't care. <laughs> Once a crocodile reaches 13, 14 feet and up, you're dealing with an animal that can take down a one-ton water buffalo. 